A quick Regency Poke Bonnet project tutorial by me, Stephanie Johannesson. I'm from the Oregon Regency Society. Okay, let's begin. We start with a 18 inch straw hat. They're available from Joanne Fabrics or Michaels. They're about uh, two and a half, three bucks at the most. Big deal. And as you can see, I have one right here. I fold it in half to get an idea of the angle and what I want to do. Um, and then I use a sharpie to mark it out. Um, in the case of this project, I actually just cut it. Um, so cutting it folded in half also ensures that both sides match. You can start with just a really rough cut. Um, as you can see here, it's pretty rough. Um, but you just need to get an idea to start with. So once you do that, you chop it off, then you can trim and shape to your delight. It's always good to have a foam head to work with because then you can try it on and look and see where you want to trim, how you want to shape it, what angle you want it at. Um, you can also work on your own head um, or work on a family member's head. Um, anybody would work. Um, so just put it on there and check out the curves and everything and then trim to your liking. So I've got this one trimmed out pretty much the way I want it. Um, and now it's time to bind the edges. Um, because these straw hats are sort of cheap and flimsy, they tend to um, crumble once you cut them, so the best thing to do is to bind the edges with ribbon or bias tape. Um, and in this case, I use hot glue and bias tape. Um, you can replace hot glue in any of these projects with sewing, but since I'm a little lazy, <laughs> um, I use a glue gun, and it does not diminish the the look of the product at all by using a glue gun. And it also is great for people who don't like to sew. So what you want to do is bind the edges, um, glue along, and just uh, go all the way around the edge of your hat. If you want to line the inside of your brim and the hat with a uh, fabric or lace or silk, this is the time to do it. So um, the first thing you do is you take your length of lace or silk and you want to gather stitch it um, it's better than using a gathering foot because you need to fan out the gather along the brim um, and the best way to do that is to do a gather stitch and then work from there. No one is forcing you to sew a stitch so if you want to glue your gather in you can do that too. Um, just beware of the burnt fingers. Um, but the main thing is that you want the gather to ev evenly fan out along the edge of your brim on the inside. So um, that's all you need to do is to start on the outside and then you want to do the gather on the inside where the, the bonnet meets your crown of your head. So here you can see I have glued the top edge of the bonnet, the top part of the brim, and then I've also glued the gather down on the inside of the brim. And then there's lots of loose material um, inside the crown. So I kind of glue that all in and you'll end up with this image right here. So everything is kind of neat and in place. The, the gather is fanned out. And then all you have to do at that point is to get all that rough edge bound up in another piece of binding along the bottom back edge of your bonnet. So if you can see, um, it looks very tidy when you do that. Here is a uh, three-angle image or series of images just to show you what it looks like um, before any of the rest of the stuff goes on. Um, I tied it on with a piece of old bias tape onto the foam head and um, it, it look, has a nice shape. The, the crown is going to change a lot um, once we get the fabric crown on. I started with just a fabric remnant that I got at Joanne Fabrics. It was like uh, two dollars or something like that. It was on sale and um, you don't need that much for a, um, a soft poke bonnet. If you're covering a large bonnet, that's another story. Probably um, a half yard, even less than that, would probably be fine. And this is where a little sewing comes in. Um, if you're creative, you can probably do it with a glue gun, but um, what I needed was basically thread, scissors, a measuring tape, and, um, and the fabric. It was really simple. So what you want to do is, is take your fabric and fold it in half lengthwise and cut it to size. Um, how long you cut it depends on how full or how not so full you want the gather around the crown. Um, once that's done and it's cut to size, you want to sew the short ends together and leave a little bit of the 
folded ends open so that you can gather the very top of the crown. As you can see, I left the folded edges open, so I use a bobby pin and some very cheap crafting ribbon because it's not going to be seen once it's in there, and I use the bobby pin to thread it into the little opening, thread it all the way around, and then voila! got two ends of a ribbon sticking out and all I have to do is tighten them up make sure that the uh, bottom of the crown is nice and straight when I tighten the gather and you end up with a lovely finished crown I put it on the uh, head form to test run it and see how it fits and then I um, go ahead and I sew a piece of trim for the bottom to cover up the raw edge you don't have to sew this, you can use a piece of ribbon or a piece of really nice trim. Um, if you look closely at some of the examples I'll show at the end of this video, um, you'll see that there are many options that you can use. So um, I don't, I'm not going to show you my making of the trim, but I'm going to show you how it looks in the end. And here it is after I've glued it on, and this is the final product um, without the ribbon and the embellishments. So there you go, it's as simple as that, and what you do after that is up to you. This is a soft poke bonnet with a fuller crown, and it has ribbon trim around the bottom edge, as well as the ribbons attached. Um, and this is a, another bonnet, if you look at the angle of the brim, she's made it a little bit wider, and the, uh, the bottom side's wider as well, but it's a good example of the many varieties of things you can do with this simple bonnet project. So I hope this uh, helped you make a project of your own and if you need any information we have a materials list still available online. You can download it anytime at the URL listed here and thank you for watching the video.